Christ Church, day four highlights the plans of the Sanhedrin to kill Jesus. But we see that there is another force behind them. And Jesus, knowing what would soon happen to him, prepares for the last Passover meal he will have with his disciples. Luke 22, one through 13 reads, the festival of unleavened bread, which is also called Passover, was approaching. The leading priests and teachers of religious law were plotting how to kill Jesus, but they were afraid of the people's reaction. Then Satan entered into Judas, who was one of the 12 disciples, and he went to the leading priests and captains of the temple guard to discuss the best way to betray Jesus to them. They were delighted and they promised to give him money. So he agreed and began looking for an opportunity to betray Jesus so they could arrest him when the crowds weren't around. Now the festival of unleavened bread arrived when the Passover lamb is sacrificed. Jesus sent Peter and John ahead and said, go and prepare the Passover meal so we can eat it together. Where do you want us to prepare it? They asked him. He replied, as soon as you enter Jerusalem, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Follow him. At the house he enters, say to the owner, the teacher asks, where is the guest room where I can eat the Passover meal with my disciples? He will take you upstairs to a large room that is already set up. That is where you should prepare our meal. They went off to the city and found everything just as Jesus had said, and they prepared the Passover meal there. Let's pray. Father, you have always shown us that we can trust you no matter what is going on in our lives. Thank you for giving your son as the true Passover lamb. In Jesus' name, amen.